What is up? It's Jim Ellie with Reactive Training Systems. And today I have a fun question to answer. And that's, should you overshoot your RPE and force progress or undershoot your RPE and allow for long-term progress? So I have my preference. I have a preference that I think works well for most lifters. And that is I would prefer most lifters to undershoot their RPE and allow for slow and steady progress than to overshoot and maybe they get a bunch of short-term progress but aren't able to recover in the long run. The reason is this, I'd rather that a lifter that I'm working with undershoots their RPE and allows room for growth than to overshoot their RPE consistently and then become over fatigued and under recovered leading to long-term reductions in performance. It's much easier to add to a program than to take away from a program once you've gone too far. The reason being is if you go too far, that can lead to things like acute injuries, chronic injuries, negative feedback, maybe they're failing lots of lifts, which is not beneficial for momentum, positivity, visualization, and, and all these things that are required to allow for long-term progress. So if we're thinking about long-term, undershooting is probably the way to go for the first block. And then if that means the lifter doesn't make the best progress ever, maybe we increase the intensity, or we increase the RPE a little bit in the next block versus starting with the athlete overshooting everything and minimizing progress. I was actually just having a conversation with one of my clients where our block didn't go too well on his bench press, but the squat and the deadlift responded extremely well. The difference between the squat, deadlift, and bench press were that his bench press on week one, he overshot. He overshot, he hit an RPE nine, it was intended to be an RPE eight. With the squat and deadlift, he was in the pocket, meaning he was hitting the prescribed RPE. And that gave him the confidence to add weight each week. Whereas on the bench press, when he got close to his one rep max, maybe a single out of nine, he felt like, wow, that was really heavy. I don't know if I have much more room in the tank for the next week. And we want to allow for growth. And I think there's a lot of mental benefit to leaving some room in the tank. And that's why we tend to program RPE8 work for, for singles because again, it gives you that technique work, but allows you to think I can add weight next week. So we, all, we always wanna think about momentum and what allows us to build the most momentum in the long run. Again, I think starting with undershooting and adding from there is gonna be better than overshooting and drilling yourself into this massive recovery debt. So I hope that answers your question. It's a really good question and we get asked it probably every single day as coaches at Reactive Training Systems. Yeah, take with that for what it is and I'll talk to you in the next video.